Hello, I'm Bill Faulkner and welcome to the 2019 SMRT Safety Video Podcast for MR Safety Week. Now this series of videos is produced exclusively for the SMRT. This year's series of videos addresses MR radio frequency coils, their use, and how they relate to safety. And this is the third video in the series. So let's get started. Once again, welcome. In the standard circularly polarized or quadrature transmit configuration, a single RF transmitter is used. A multi-transmit system will have more than one RF transmitter. Currently, the most common configuration is for two RF transmitters to be used. This may be referred to as a two-channel transmit or dual-channel transmit. A major application of this technology is to reduce or eliminate the RF inhomogeneities, sometimes referred to as dielectric effect, that results in shading seen primarily with body imaging at 3T. In this example, you can see uh, the image from conventional circularly polarized transmission on the left and a two-channel transmission on the right. Notice the lack of image shading or more uniformity of signal with the two-channel transmit. With regard to safety, some implants and devices may have a condition of use that states quadrature transmit only. And this would, of course, only be applicable if your MR system uses multi-transmit technology. And currently, that is likely going to be 3T systems. If that were the case, then you would be required to switch to a quadrature or CP transmit mode. And here's an example of clinical labeling that specifies scanning in either the circularly polarized mode or a dual channel multi-transmit mode. In other words, no more than two RF transmitters. Multi-transmit may also be referred to as B1 or RF shimming. And aside from shading, it has been shown that using multi-transmit versus circularly polarized can result in differences in local SAR. Therefore, concerns have been raised as to the unknown effects of the SAR differences between the multi-channel, multi-transmit, and circularly polarized transmit, particularly in pregnant patients. In this paper, the authors recommend using CP transmit until more is known about the effects of when using a multi-transmit mode. And here's another paper stating that multi-transmit can significantly increase the fetal exposure and again recommends at this time scanning using the CP transmit mode. And that brings us to the end of the third video in our MR Safety Week 2019 video podcast. I hope you found the information useful. Be sure to look for the next video in this series. So until next time, this is Bill Faulkner. Thanks for taking the time to watch and take care.